Hi! In this video, you will learn how to create this video e-greeting in PowerPoint. You can have variations. For example, you can have something like this, which is really celebratory, or you can have something very subtle like this. The choice is up to you. In the past, people have asked me about how to create their own video e-greetings where they can customize their own text, customize the kind of animation of their own text and every element of their video e-greetings. And they wanted to know if they would need to learn some fancy new video editing software for that. My answer to that is you don't really need to. You can do that entirely inside PowerPoint and in this video I'm going to show you. This tutorial is so simple that even a rank beginner in PowerPoint can do this in no time. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, which is a collection of 34 individual courses from basic to advanced in PowerPoint that allows you to take your PowerPoint skills to a very good level. The link to this product is in the description box below the video. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to write our text. I'm going to have a dark background, so let me right click, go to format background and change the background color to something really dark. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and write our text here. So this will be your and we can change the font color to something that everybody can see very clearly. And then maybe I can use another text box. I usually prefer to have the individual words in different text boxes. So it gives me more options to animate those texts differently, apply different kind of text effects, etc. So when you create e-greetings like this, I suggest that you break down your text into individual words so you have more options. Now I'm going to say your announcement here. Let me take this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to say here. I'm going to use different font types. This can be something bold. So I can really increase the size and I can keep it somewhere over here and I can use the same kind of font size. So I can take this, use this format painter, double click it. So I can apply this onto this text and also to the other text. Excellent. So now I just need to change the font type. So let me go here and use something else, maybe some kind of handwritten font like this. And I'm going to leave this one the way it is. So I'm going to keep it somewhere over here. Maybe I can increase the size of this a little bit more because this is the main announcement. So it could be the birthday announcement or it could be wedding announcement. It doesn't really matter. So you can write your text the way you want. Now, once you've got your text done, then you can apply different types of animations to these. So let us select all of these, go to animations, go to animation pane so you can see what exactly is being applied here. Go to animations and use a very simple fade animation. You don't need anything fancy. Let us have this for say around one second and this is going to be with previous and let us go to the effect options, go here to effect options and say animate text by letter and you can change this 10% delay between letters to 20% delay between letters and say OK. So the animation is a bit more pronounced like this. And then you go once again to effect options and you go to timing and say this needs to repeat until end of slide and you say OK. So when I go to slideshow, you can see that the text elements are constantly in some motion, thereby drawing the viewer's attention to the text that is written here. The next step is to add some excitement to this by adding a video background. Now, a simple source for you to get good quality free videos for your presentations is pixabay.com and I've told you this before. Now, when you go to pixabay.com and search for videos and search for confetti, you will see a whole bunch of options here. I'm going to choose this one. Let us select this and you can download this of any size. Now I'm going to choose this 1920 by 1080 and hit download. I can copy that and paste it onto my slide and make sure that it corresponds to the top left corner so it fits nicely onto the slide. Then let us go to playback and say this needs to play automatically and this needs to loop until stopped. Now you go to the animation pane, click on this trigger and click and drag this animation event right on top so it is not a trigger anymore and make sure that this animates with previous and that is a very important thing. So when you do that, when you go to slideshow, 
you will notice that this is how the animation plays and once you have this in the background so right click and send this to back you will have the text also showing very nicely when you go to slideshow you have the text in the front and there is a very beautiful animation of fade by letter and a very nice celebration kind of a thing at the background now if you want this to be a much faster one of course you can always change the duration of the text animation instead of one second you can have it as say 0.5 seconds and see how that one looks it is completely up to you there is no specific prescription of what kind of animation you need to use you have a whole bunch of animation options available here for you to try the only suggestion that i have is you animate it by letter as i showed you and have it looped until end of slide and that will keep the interest of the viewers going now once you have one slide made with the video background the best part is you can export it as your own video when you go to file go to export then go to create a video option you click on this option here you have the option to save this as even ultra hd that is 4k video you can click on it and you say create a video when you say 4k video of course it is going to take a little more time than the normal video but you still have the option of doing it i am not going to choose that because now this is just a demonstration okay i'm going to choose a very basic kind of video resolution so when i go to this i can go to full hd and say create a video and i am going to save this as presentation one and maybe i can choose in the desktop and say export it will take a little bit of time for you to have this video exported and you can see that the exporting is happening here once it is finished you will be able to use that in your presentation or you can export this as a gif animation so you can go to file export and say create an animated gif and you can choose the resolution it can be medium high or whatever that you want to have and you say create gif and that will create a gif that you want let me call this as say gif and say save you can see that that gif is getting created here now the best part of exporting that as an animated gif in powerpoint is now that gif is available for you to paste onto your emails so your recipient doesn't even have to open a powerpoint to see what you've created you can paste this onto whatsapp and send it as a greeting so you have a lot of options for you to send your video e-greeting created customized entirely inside powerpoint now in the example that i showed you i have used different variations for example you can see that i have used different colors for my text and in the third video i actually have three different videos pasted one next to another and that can give you even more options for you to customize the look and feel of your video e-greetings now things like this are not really taught in any of the traditional powerpoint courses and in fact a lot of the things that i teach in powerpoint mastery program are not really shared elsewhere and that is what makes this program so unique the link to this product is in the description box below the video you click on the link and check out more details about this product in the meantime if you want to watch another video tutorial that shows you how to create a different type of e greeting using animation in powerpoint then you can click on the link here if you want to join our 25 creative powerpoint ideas free email mini training then you can click on the link here you will be enrolled into that free five day email course right away so click on the link join the course and i will see you inside